I've got a wonderful big red dog named Gus, but he's 2,700 miles away. I've got a wonderful black Audi that I really enjoy, but it's, it's seven years old now. I have a nice apartment I live right down on Sherwood Avenue, but it's not our condo in Florida on the golf course. Are we people who think about the gifts we have received or the things that we perceive are lacking? Are we people that give thanks to God for what we have? In Luke chapter 17, verses 14 and 15, Jesus heals some lepers. He does it in an interesting way, remember. He tells to go, them to go to show themselves the priest. While they are going, while they take the first step, they're cleansed. We talked about taking the first step for a couple days. But then it says something interesting. It says, and one of them turned back with a loud voice glorifying God. The other nine went on their way. Here's a question. Are we more like the nine or the one? Now, the leper had a hard road ahead of him. He'd been a leper. He was an ex-leper. He had to rebuild his life, get a job, gather a family, build a house. He had a hard road ahead. But he was so grateful for what the Lord had done, he turned back glorifying God with a loud voice. He didn't take it for granted. The question is, do we take the gifts of God for granted? Or, with a loud voice, do we turn back glorifying God? Great apartment. A wonderful, wonderful red dog. A very fine car. Tremendous gifts from God. I plan to Praise my voice, and thanks very soon. This is your daily devotional for Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. Hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God and turn back with a loud voice and glorify God. Remember, Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. God bless you today.